Hi! In this video, I'll be demonstrating the new XR for VR workflow in Disguise Designer. This workflow allows you to use a standard broadcast camera on an XR stage to create a 360 degree spherical video which can be viewed interactively on a phone or VR headset. This video itself is a demonstration of the result. As you can see, I'm currently standing in a virtual studio which is being brought to life by the XR stage in Disguise HQ. I'm simultaneously recording two videos, one 360 degree spherical video and one regular broadcast output, which can be seen on the screens on either side of me. You are currently watching one of them, but make sure that you check out the other video as well to experience both outputs. On my left is the regular broadcast video, which is being recorded at HD resolution. This could be increased to 4K depending on the hardware available. On my right is the spherical video, which can be broadcast in either 360 or 180 degree formats. We're currently recording an equirectangular video at a resolution of 4320 by 2160. The output contains a full 360 degree view of the content, which can be uploaded to a VR platform and interpreted by the viewing hardware to create the adaptive viewpoint into the scene. The scene I'm currently standing in is rendered in Unreal Engine on two RX machines, and is being streamed to the VX servers running the stage using RenderStream. This workflow works for any 3D content, so it's possible to create VR scenes using other engines with RenderStream plugins, such as Notch, Touch Designer, and Unity, or local content layers such as the 2.5D layer. It's also possible to map spherical images or videos to the camera backplate. This gives full flexibility in the content that can be used for VR workflows, allowing performers to be placed within a whole range of different scenes. The Disguise 2.5D workflow can also be used to add depth to video and image plates, allowing for a greater degree of camera movement with realistic parallax. I'll now show you how the XR workflow is used to place me within this virtual scene. First, I'll remove the virtual content so that you can see the camera's view of the stage. As you can see, I'm standing on an LED floor with an LED wall behind me. I'm being filmed by a single static camera, and for the XR for VR workflow, it's best if this remains stationary. Camera moves can be achieved virtually, as I'll show you later. I'll now bring the virtual scene back, but without set extension. So now the scene is being projected onto the floor and the wall screens from the perspective of the camera, placing me within this virtual world. This also allows other people in the room to see me within the scene, if I wanted to present to a live audience as well as the broadcast. However, the camera can still see the edges of the LED wall, and the content doesn't extend into the 360 degree spherical view. To fix this, I'll bring in the virtual set extension. For the standard output, the set extension fills out the rest of the camera view, blending into the edges of the LED. For the spherical output, the set extension also extends the content over the full 360 degree view. The virtual scene is mapped to the MR set backplate so appears behind me. I can also bring in front plate content which goes in front of me. This content can be different between the regular and spherical outputs, if that's desired. I'll now change back to the studio scene to show you how camera movements can be achieved. I'm being filmed by a static camera, however it's possible to animate the virtual camera to move the viewing point of the scene. For example, I can pan around to show those watching the broadcast output what they're missing. Alternatively, I can perform a dolly motion to pull the viewer away from the presenter before tracking back in. This technique can be used to achieve a wide range of motion within the virtual scene while the actual camera remains stationary. The XR for VR workflow in Designer makes it easy to set up a 360 degree output from an XR stage. You start by setting up and calibrating your camera, screens and MR set following the standard XR workflow. Then create a virtual camera and set it as the target of the MR set. Link the virtual camera to the real broadcast camera by setting the parent camera field and select a live action position marker to match the position of the presenter. Position the virtual camera where you want the scene eye point to be and then set the output mode to spherical. 
and that's all you need to do. The virtual camera will now map content to a 360 degree spherical output, blending seamlessly between the set extension and the camera view to insert the presenter into the virtual scene. So that's an overview of the new and improved XR for VR workflow. For more details, check out the workflow documentation at help.disguise.one and the new training course at learn.disguise.one. I hope that you find it useful and enjoy creating VR content from XR stages powered by Disguise.